Do you like comic books as much as I do? Do you have a particular comic book store you go to to get your comics? Well, in this issue of the Comic Corner, I'm going to talk to you guys about my two favorite comic book shops. One in Northridge, and one at Universal City Walk. How's it going everybody? Sean Allen here. Welcome to issue number two of the Comic Corner. I'm sure like most of you, you like to get your comic books either at the comic book shop or at conventions for free or maybe have them downloaded onto your mobile device. If you're like me, I don't really read comic books digitally. I like getting the hard copies. Yeah. Now I know I'm only going to be talking about two different comic book shops in this video. Technically, I've been to four different shops. And the reason why I'm not mentioning the other two is because they've been closed for many, many years. The reason for that is because back then the comic books were not as popular as they are now. Because back then we didn't have the Marvel Cinematic Universe and the whole DC Universe. Although we did have a lot of Batman films at that time. But back then, Marvel, DC, the comic book business wasn't really doing that great. If they had stuck around a few more years, they probably would have made a lot more money because... Later on down the road, we've got the Marvel Cinematic Universe and basically helped boom the comic book industry once again. So, sad to say that these other two comic book shops I've been to are no longer with us. So, in this video, I'm only going to be talking about two, the ones I'm going to right now. So, let's get started with the first comic book shop, and that is Things from Another World. This particular shop is located in Universal City Walk between Universal Cinema and the Hard Rock Cafe. What I really like about this particular shop is that, yes, even though they have a select number of comic books, it doesn't overwhelm you because there are so many different comic books out there in the world that you can get. And this particular place has a good selection of comic books. Yes, I know it doesn't have every single title out there, but still, it has a good number of comics that you can get, ranging from Spider-Man, Hellboy, Daredevil, Batman, sometimes Walking Dead. Every once in a while, they will bring in a different issue that's not really one of their regular issues, say, like, something from a, another brand or a particular issue. Maybe it's a special edition. But every once in a while, they will bring in other issues from outside of Marvel and DC, which I think is pretty cool. Not only does this shop sell comic books, but it also sells different toys and collectibles. Things ranging from Disney, Marvel, Star Wars, Game of Thrones, Harry Potter, Rick and Morty, Star Trek. They have tons of pop figures that you can purchase. They have collectible statues that you can find. I know they're expensive. They're really detailed. They also have t-shirts, games models, all sorts of things there, posters. What I really like about Things in the World is that it's very unique. It's not focusing on a particular brand like strictly Marvel or DC, like what they do at Disney, they only have Marvel stuff. If you go to Six Flags, they have a lot of DC characters and Looney Tunes, Hanna-Barbera. They do have a light-up sign on the side of their building saying Dark Horse Comics and includes the logo. And even on their bag here, look at this. So here's their bag, it says Things in the World. On the back side, it does show the Dark Horse Comics logo. So there you go. Dark Horse Comics released an exclusive cover for Stranger Things, specifically for Things in the World. And I did get a free issue of this particular comic book last year at Halloween Horror Nights. Well, it was during Halloween Horror Nights 2018, but it was during the Halloween season. And this is the cover right here. As you can see, this is issue one of Stranger Things from Dark Horse Comics, but this was only sold exclusively at Things from Another World. And I did get a second copy of this, but I gave it to a friend since he didn't have this issue. So, yes, they did get an exclusive cover from Dark Horse Comics for this issue, specific issue, I should say, of Stranger Things. So, I think that's pretty cool. So, all in all, Things from Another World at Universal City Walk is a fun shop to go to. They do have other locations in the U.S. You can check them out online. I'll post their links and social media accounts down below in the description of this video. Also, in case you are wondering, yes, they do partake in Free Comic Book Day. In case you are wondering when Free Comic Book Day is, is usually the first weekend in May every year. And that is going to happen again this year in May, and I'm going to be partaking of that there at Universal City Walk, and I'm really looking forward to it. I believe when I was there last year, yeah, they actually let you take up to 10 free comic books. So that was a really fun experience. And if you've never been to Free Comic Book Day, I would really, really guarantee that you guys will get some good comics out of that deal. And I will say this, they have really good customer service. I'm friends with the employees there, and they are great people. They have done a fantastic job with the shop. If you happen to go there, say hello, because 
they're very nice. If you have questions, definitely give them like a call or ask them when you're there. They can also set aside comic books for you in case you want to get comic books in the future. They can set them aside so that way you can get them later on. And they are really nice people. And yeah, if you're watching this, hey. <laughs> All right, let's switch gears now and talk about the other comic book shop. This one is located in Northridge, California. Now, this particular comic book shop I started going to when I was going to Cal State Northridge or CSUN because I actually had a class that was involving comic books. Yes, I took a course at Cal State Northridge dedicated to comic books, English 333. So unlike Things in Another World, this is a more strictly comic book based shop. They have tons and tons of comic books. A lot more titles than things in the world and I know it is overwhelming to see all the comic book shelves full of comic books. Sometimes they are sold out on certain issues but there is no short supply of comic books. They are everywhere in this shop. They have a section in their shop that has all these different old comic books dating back to as early as maybe the 1930s and 40s, a lot of 60s and 70s. They definitely will have issues that really are like sometimes rare. I have found rare issues in that store. Some of my special prized possessions of old comic books have come from that shop. Uh, a couple of, I have purchased online, I will say that, but a lot of old comic books I've gotten not too long ago have come from Earth 2 Comics because they were sold there. And it's an amazing, amazing place to go to because it's a library, basically, of comic books. They also have graphic novels that you can purchase from Marvel, DC, Dark Horse, Image, IDW, Boom Studios, etc. And they also have collectibles and toys. So... It is, in a way, a comic book shop with other collectibles, but not as significant as things in the world. So if you're looking for a particular comic book shop with just strictly comic books, this is the place to go to if you're in the L.A. area because this place has a ton of comics. I know that things in the world does have a select number of issues, and they do have some back issues, if any. Sometimes they're in their stock, but if you want to go to a place that has like other issues from the past several years that you can check out, Earth 2 Comics definitely has some of these issues, in fact a lot of these issues, and it's a lot of fun. I will be talking about some of these other older comic books in the future, including one particular character that I actually did a little bit of a report on while I was at Cal State Northridge. His name is Omak. He was actually a character that was created by Jack Kirby, and more on that character later on in a future video. Okay, I know this question will show up in the comments section, so I'll go ahead and answer it right now. Which shop is better? Well, here's how I'm going to break it down. If you're looking for a particular comic book shop strictly related to comics, Earth 2 Comics is the winner in this case. If you're looking for a shop that has both comic books, collectibles, and also toys and t-shirts, Things in the World. I will say this though, you can get discounts at Things in the World, like if you're an annual pass holder or an employee, you can get discounts there at Things in the World. I'm not so sure about Earth 2 Comics, but I believe in both shops, you can have them set aside certain issues, so that way, if you miss out on it, they can set it aside, and then you can get it later on down the road. And I think that's very handy. I haven't really done it myself. Maybe I might do it because there are some issues that I unfortunately had forgotten that they were released, but... In both cases, they can set aside issues, and that way you can pick them up later on in the day or in the week. And I think that's very convenient, right? And there you go, you guys. Those are my two favorite comic book shops that I've been to over the past several years. In fact, I'm still going to them to this day to get my comic books. And I will say this. Both shops have wonderful customer service. The employees there are wonderful people. They do a fantastic job there. They are much more knowledgeable in comic books than I am. And definitely stop by in person to their shops and say hello because I'm sure they'll enjoy the publicity and really will probably appreciate the fact that I gave them a lot of praise in these videos because they, they all both have wonderful people working these shops and, you know, they do a fantastic job. So if you're watching this and you work at these shops, you guys are awesome. Keep up the great work. Okay, before I completely forget, here are my picks for this week's releases of comic books for February 13th, 2019. Starting off with issue number 998 of Batman Detective Comics. This is the variant cover. I like this better than the original cover. I do have an image of the first cover that I saw. It's going to be on your screen right now. That is the original, and this one on your right is the variant cover. 
The reason I got the varying cover is because, like I just stated, it's really, really cool. It's literally two comics away from number 1,000. Yes, we are almost at issue 1,000 for Batman Detective Comics. If you guys remember, we already celebrated Superman Action Comics 1,000 not too long ago. We're about to celebrate the 1,000th issue of Detective Comics, which is going to be a huge milestone, not just for Batman, but also for DC Comics. Up next, we have part three of a six-issue miniseries called The Batman. Batman Who Laughs. I don't want to give a lot of details away, but as you can guess from the cover here, it looks pretty intense, and I believe this was another variant cover. Actually, no, this isn't the variant cover, but there was a variant cover of this, which it was just this particular Joker, but I decided not to get that one because I just thought it was just too kind of graphic, but I got this one instead. This is the original cover for this issue, so this is a really nice one. Now, this is actually a combo I got last week after I finished recording the first issue of the Comic Corner, and that is Female Furies. These are based off of characters that were created by Jack Kirby for Apocalypse and New Genesis. These are very famous characters. That's Barda right there. We do see Granny in here, a few other characters that are very familiar to those who are big fans of Jack Kirby. Check this one out. It's a lot of fun. This is actually the variant cover. I saw the first cover for this, and it was pretty cool, but... The only cover I was able to get was this one, so this is actually pretty neat. I like it. Moving on now to Marvel Comics. Let's start off with Marvels. That's right. This is one of four books for Marvels. This is actually a reprint of the old Marvels comics that were released back several years ago. I do actually have the entire collection in this graphic novel here, Marvels, the remastered edition. It's artist. The artist is by Alex Ross. And he's a very, very brilliant and talented artist, as you can see. And yes, these are the reprints of the same comics from this particular series. It's a lot of fun. This is a really, really good series. The art is absolutely amazing. Basically, the comic series is supposed to be through the eyes of those who are not superheroes, but seeing the events taking place around certain superheroes like Spider-Man, as you can see, Human Torch, Fantastic Four, and, well, I don't want to get into any spoilers, but this is, again, book one of four, so there will be three other issues coming soon but this is the first one right here this is a really really cool one here's the next one i got from marvel and that's marvel tales featuring black widow now this is sort of similar to what the true believer series is doing and that's collecting old comics of certain characters and combining them together into one comic book i believe this has three different issues in this comic book this was like 7.99 but it's a good comic book i do have one that's for venom and i started collecting these as well because again these are a collection of old comics relating to one particular character and that's in this case Black Widow. I will say that one of the issues does involve Spider-Man so it's really really cool and much like again True Believers it's a collection of old comics and yes it is a little bit more expensive but it's totally worth it. Moving on to the Star Wars universe, we got Count Dooku in his own solo comic for Age of Republic. I actually like this one. This was actually a really good one. If you haven't checked this one out, I would highly recommend it. There was not one, but two different little twists in the story with Count Dooku. One that really surprised me. I won't get into any details because I don't want to spoil it. As you remember, last week we got Anakin Skywalker's own solo comic. Two weeks ago, it was like the starter pack for the entire Age of Republic series. Next week, we're going to get a comic for Princess Padme Amidala. In two weeks, it's going to be General Grievous. Then after that, it's Leah. And then after Leia, we're going to be getting, believe it or not, General Tarkin. Yes, he's going to get his own solo comic in the Age of Republic series. That's going to be an interesting one. In case you don't remember, that's Peter Cushing's character from Rogue One and the very first Star Wars film. But definitely pick Count Dooku up because this one was a good one. And last but certainly not least, we have not one, but two True Believers comics. As I briefly stated about Marvel Tales, that was $7.99. These are only $1. And I really like these comics because these are reprints of some of the older Captain Marvel comic books. And as you can see, this is when he was a guy instead of a female. I know some guests will look at this and go, eh, old comics, who cares? I particularly love the reprints of these old comics because... The only way you can really find these is in graphic novels. I love seeing them as issues, once again, out in stores. If you have the opportunity to get these type of comics under the True Believer series, get them. At some point here in the future on the Comic Corner, I will do a whole video about the True Believers comics because there are some rare ones in here and even a few reprints of some of the original and first issues of some of your favorite Marvel characters, including Spider-Man, Daredevil, Captain America's return to the Marvel comics for Avengers. So trust me guys, that video is going to be a lot of fun. And that is it. Those are the comic books I got for this week. They are brand new releases right now at your local comic book shop. 
And with that, we are finished with issue number two of the Comic Corner. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. Be sure to check out my content here on YouTube as well as my other channels, the Educational Series, the Disneyland Video Series, and the Travel Town Series. I'm also on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. I have a P.O. Box. If you guys want to send me viewer mail, P.O. Box address is down below in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching in the scene. As they say in Hollywood, that, my friends, is a wrap.